There are many things to learn in this world. There are so many things that you would need many, infinite lives to learn all that is to be learned in this world. There are thousands of languages alone, science, technology, the arts, of all kinds, music, culture, anyway, many things the human being can learn, many of this really provoke our curiosity, because in this wonderful world created by God, he left us many things to be explored. Now, however, of all this, there is to learn. There is no doubt that the most important thing is about who created all this. Where did all this come from? And why can only the human being appreciate all these things, sciences, arts? You can give a smartphone to a dog. It doesn't know what to do with it. A cat to a bird. They don't know what to do with it. You put an animal in front of the TV screen, it can even be staring at it, and even if it sees the images, it will not understand what it's about. Only the human being received the capacity to absorb things, to explore the reason why for things. Why, out of all creatures that there is, Only the human being has this power. These are important questions that lead us to the creator, the source of all this knowledge. That's why there's a holy text there in Jeremiah chapter 9, in verse 23 and 24. Thus says the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, So, he who is considered to be wise should not glory in his wisdom. Let not the mighty man glory in his might. They are very mighty. They lift up those weights in competitions. They take the belt from weight class A, B or C. All the belts are in his house. Let not the mighty man glory in his might, nor let the rich man glory in his riches. There is the list of the most rich men in the world. Every year, the world pays attention to the list of the richest people, men and women, in the world. He's written, nor let the rich man glory in his riches. In other words, wisdom, mighty, riches, It's not a reason to glory. Who is saying this is man. But let him who glories glory in this, that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord, exercising loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in this I delight, says the Lord. That is, of all the knowledge of the earth, the most worthy, sublime, that the human being should apply themselves to learn is the knowledge of God. Out of everything that you can learn about, that the human being should at least put their minds into knowing God. It's not knowing religions, because some people take the wrong path, contrary to what they say out there, all roads lead to God. That's not true. He who says that shows their ignorance about God. The person wants to sound spiritual, respectful towards all religions, 
And you can respect all religions without agreeing with all of them. You don't need to say such nonsense for you to say that you respect all religions. Because he who knows just a little about God, they know. It makes no sense on this phrase. All roads lead to God. No. Oh, at the end, everybody will get to the same place. This doesn't exist. The word is clear. There's only one way. Only one way. Jesus. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except from me. This is the way. Those who want to learn God not to seek for a religion. There are those who want a desire to find God. They take the wrong path on studying religions. And they embark on a journey of years, traveling the world, studying books, and listening to gurus, and going into the beliefs, creeds of this world. They study the Jews, the Muslims, the spiritualists, Christianity. They study everything that appears in front of them. And they come back to know how more confused and empty than when they started. Without understanding a thing, I studied everything and I didn't find God because they looked for in the wrong places. They looked in the religious and God is not in religion. Where is God? Jesus said, those who seek for me, those who worship me should Worship in spirit and in truth. In spirit means to use your intelligence, your mind, to apply yourself into learning the word. When you want to know something, you go for a book, an information, a video. You look for words about that topic. What words do you think will present God to you in the best way? The most trustworthy information about him than his own. Which words are better than his own? Think a little, use your reasoning. To know something, you need to find words, true information, information that will truly bring to you true knowledge on that subject. So, if you want to know about a specific subject, you go to the person who is in authority in that matter. You're going to read everything that the person has wrote about the subject for you to inform yourself and even to graduate on that topic. If you want to know God, who is the highest authority? in this subject. Is it a religion? Is it a bishop, pastor, pope, archbishop, a priest? No. The highest authority about God is himself. And he left us his word. It's called the Holy Bible. That if you seek for him in the word, you will find him. Those who seek him sincerely will find him. Those who seek him with all your heart, you will find him. Is what the word promises. Well, look what the Holy Spirit using the Apostle Paul said here about these people who do not show any interest on finding God, that in Romans 1, 28 it says, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, which means there's many people like this, who is concerned about learning about astrology, zoology, about everything, but they don't care about seeking God. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased 
mind to do those things which are not fitting. So people who do not have the slightest interest in seeking God have a debased mind and they start to do things which are not fitting. That's why you see so many wise people, so intelligent, that even though they are so capable on that, that they dedicate themselves to become professionals about, when you look at their personal lives, you see the nonsense, the atrocity that they practice in their personal lives. Betrayal, prostitution, pedophilia, pornography, deceit, drugs, and the list goes on and on. And the following verses give a list on what these people get involved with. It would be good for you to, if you care about having this information, so keep on reading the book of Romans, chapter 1, from verse 28 onwards. So I conclude by saying that if you will learn about something, put God at the top of this list and go straight to the source, to His Word, because He wants to reveal Himself, but He only reveals Himself to those who seek Him with sincerity. And whoever knows Him, this one becomes wise. If today's video helped you and you know someone that could benefit from it, share it with them, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you may do so now. See you later.